Rich. This morning, new details from a Georgia police report on NFL star quarterback Ben Roethlisberger. A two-time Super Bowl winner learned this week he will not be charged with a crime, but he still faces a likely suspension. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano is here with more. Elaine, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Jeff. You know, the young woman who accused Ben Roethlisberger of sexual assault said she tried to get away from the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback and made it clear she did not want to have sex with him. The 20-year-old college student alleges that Ben Roethlisberger invited her and her friends to the VIP room at this rural Georgia nightclub where he encouraged them to down numerous shots of alcohol. In newly released police documents, the accuser said one of Roethlisberger's bodyguards sat me on a stool. He left and Ben came back and exposed himself. I told him it wasn't okay. He followed me into the bathroom and shut the door. I still said no, this is not okay, and he then had sex with me. Earlier this week, prosecutors decided not to file charges against Roethlisberger, saying... The sexual allegation against Mr. Roethlisberger cannot be proven beyond a reasonable doubt. Bright also revealed the woman asked him not to pursue the case because she said of the publicity. Still, the accuser could, if she wanted, file a civil suit. If she did that, the burden of proof would be lower. She would just have to prove her case by a preponderance of the evidence, which means she would have to show the jury that it was more likely than not that she was sexually assaulted. Thursday, officials from the Steelers said the team is ready to discipline Roethlisberger. There could also be league action against him. We've made it very clear to Ben that there will be consequences for his action. And Ben has indicated to us that he's willing to accept those consequences. The quarterback's troubles have also cost him a sponsor. The maker of Big Ben's beef jerky says Roethlisberger is falling short of the company's standards. Jeff. CBS's Elaine Quijano. Elaine, thank you very much. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.